We were going to do the one day special. Uh, but instead, opener. we just had cuddles. <laughs> <laughs> we did, yeah. We did just um, have a cuddle. Uh, we were going to play the one day special opener, but what's the point? As per. <laughs> Sold out last night before I got my hands on it. You know, when I look at the schedule and see Martin on that, I think, oh, oh I'm in trouble. <laughs> Literally nine minutes, was it? Yeah. Yeah, incredible. So congratulations Thank on you that. So much. Um, but what that means is you <clears> don't <throat> lose out, folks, because if you got the one day special last night, don't worry, uh, you got yours, you can relax. If you missed it completely, we are going to tease you with some amazing Stamps by Me products. We've got yeah. happy hours. We have. We've got some good stuff. We haven't got any mats. I'm not happy about that, <laughs> but there we go. Maybe um, next time. Yeah. I'm saving so, them for you for my hero show. There we go. That's right. Yeah, you remember you telling me, yeah. Uh, right, okay, so uh, let's have a look at some of the things that we have got in the show uh, that you're going to absolutely do. Remember, we've got some uh, what, um, happy hours coming up as well. Yeah. But we're going to kick off with some embossing folders. These are gorgeous. I know. So these are HD 3D, so they give you that extra element of dimension. Absolutely fabulous. Now, I will show you through these live on air. I'm going to run them through so you'll get to see the detail, but it's a collective of hearts. So you have a solid abstract heart, then we have some beaded hearts, which are just down here, and then we have some urban hearts, which have got a bit more of an artistic flair. So if you feel those beads on there, they are, it's in, they are incredible. So the detail is extraordinary They're great, extraordinary aren't they? so you will get that detail with just one pass i love a good white on white card and that's a credit to the embossing folder but equally if you show the next one martin i mean couldn't be worlds apart really so this one is a grunge rustic-y one as well so it just shows you that they work across the board simplistic right through to those grungiest yeah. type style of cards by the way these aren't going to last 70 percent of them gone already and already going quickly this is my favorite in the set this heart here. Yeah, so you see it there in the black, Martin, and who put this one in the white? There you go. Oh, I've made space for me, thank you. Lean it forward, perfect. So you all asked for that abstract heart that we did in the stencil. It's now in that embossing folder. Absolutely beautiful. So you get all three of them. They are a six by six 3D embossing folder. You can do all of the techniques that you would traditionally do with any other embossing folder. The beauty about these is you get that extra depth, that extra dimension, and you're going to get beautiful, beautiful results. Yeah, these aren't going to last. Six two nine three four nine. the item number for the uh, stamps by me. Share the love 3D embossing folder collection, 2330. They will not last. Now then, the next thing to show you is something I've never seen before. They're quite cool. And happen to think is absolutely blinking brilliant. Yeah, so these are your infinite I didn't name them Infinity, it's just because of the no edge border. So they're called Infinity Shaker cards. They are pre-scored, pre-taped. All you need to do is think about what you're going to put in them. You get that shop bought finish. They have a protective film on. All you do is pull the protective film off and you get the high end Boom. glossy finish. So you can fill with sparkles, gems, sequins, glitter, Kit Kats, money, <laughs> treats, uh, Halloween treats, um, gift bags for kids with things inside. That's a shaker in a shaker. So you've got a it circle is. one inside, a, a rectangle one there. That one's cool inside. That's mine. That's mine. Oh, it's showing that Show one. that circular one there. I'll show this one here. Okay. So this is, look at this one. So you can see the shaker inside. Oh, there we go. Look at this. Uh, have you ever seen a circle shaker? And they are so easy to do. This one's not making it out of the building. <laughs> I'm going to give that to my son, you know, and I'm going to say to him, please open it carefully so mummy can reuse the shaker. <laughs> so, so tight, honestly. But this one's got buttons in, I think, Martin. Uh, Where's the one with the buttons? On the front? There we go. Oh, yeah. So that's no, got buttons. buttons in in there as well. And that one just behind your hand there's got seeds in. So if you've got a seed fan, just think about what that person likes. Oh, Do they yeah. like the... Do they like the teas, like me and you? Yeah. You could pop a nice tea in yeah, there. Yeah, put a nice Moroccan tea. mint in there. Absolutely. Or you could put money or gift cards. They are just incredible. Super affordable, high end. They do not give you that cloud when you score. That's really important to me. And you get that slight sort of concave dome on there, which is going to make it look like that shop bar finish. They are. They all beautiful. come with a protective film. They do on the uh, acetate as well. So you peel off the uh, the protective film and you have an absolutely perfectly clear in fact we couldn't peel them off and show you because i would have it would have been like that you yeah know. i'll show you how crystal clear they there are. it is it's but that clear <laughs> 
<laughs> but don't worry if you forget to pull off that clear coverage they still look great but yeah. if you do pull it off you will see the difference have on you that. Anything, ever seen anything as good as that though i mean i know people have had so many issues with shaker oh, cards that a, they've given up they're a bane particularly when you pop the um glitter in as well it just all ends up everywhere but all you need to do is cut that card the size of the window you've got all four sizes mm. in there traditional five by seven you have an a6 which is beautiful for our usa fans and followers but equally if you like smaller cards you have we have you covered we have a square as well which i'm going to demonstrate because i haven't done the five by five yet and then you get that incredible circle which you can't see so think about insides of cards when they open the card and that five pound normally falls on the floor no it's captivated in a lovely little um clear window and then they can peel it off use it as a, a bookmark it can, or just keep it in there just to say i'll break into that when i absolutely need it mm. It's just awesome, absolutely awesome. And yeah, I would double really, up on these. Really, really clever. £20.69p will get you. How many do I get in total? Does it doesn't say on the screen. 24. 24 of them in circle and different uh, rectangles and a square as well. Really, really. As soon as I show you these, they're going to fly. They, well, they're, they're already doing it. So easy. Without showing it, they're doing. I show you. And we've got more coming. We've got some stars. We've got some hearts. We've got some for Christmas, too. Because they're so easy just to fold over, I'm not putting a box now. Traditionally, you would see cards square and rectangle. Never will you see a circle, mostly. I don't think I've ever seen a circle. Will you ever see them in hearts? And they're flat. You can get those ones that are like domed, can't you, Martin? That mm. fit like in your cards and things like that. Right, but we've got some happy hours for you and they're lurking behind the counter here as well. You've already found them. You've already found them anyway. Right. Uh, so the first one to show you is this one, which is the heliotrope. Now this is totally awesome. The dies in here give you a torn paper finish, around if you want a torn paper finish. They cut out the flowers out. You get the stamps and then you get this matten layer which creates vintage in look let me show you the stamps they are i'll show you on absolutely beautiful stamp so you get the names oh like out of an old uh, out of an old book, book flowery yeah. book type stamp. and then look at the dies here for 13 pound 50 this is 35.98 i believe that what 13 pound 50 yeah happy hour Wow, thirty-five ninety-eight goes to thirteen pound fifty for the dies <laughs> and the stamps. Okay, that's absolutely flying, as you can imagine. So that's um, that one. Okay, uh, right. So the next one is from the Imala collection. Now we have an Imala deal of the day today. Imala is a collaboration between you and Carly Duff, isn't it? Yeah. So Carly loves the big, quirky, iconic. Uh, very on trend stamps that are bigger than normal and this is no different so playful pets if you love your animals you're going to adore this wait till i turn it over there you go look at that it's absolutely huge size so, of that bit of stencil work bit of an inky background stamp it on absolutely done these deals are while stocks last once they're done they're done so yeah have them. well they're I think they'll be done very quickly, to be honest. Okay. Um, here's the deal of the day coming up, a picture of the deal of the day, another Amala stamp, um, which uh, you're seeing as we're doing this show, we might as well show you the deal of the day, oh, and it's called I love Top that one. I love that one, that's my fave. It's so impactive, it's jet black. All you need to do is add that ink, add a splash of colour behind it, and you really have got a very impactive card. Now, you have got in sentiments in there, find your fire. So you're always going to get those uplifting sentiments from me and Carly. We don't really do happy birthday. No. It's always a little bit positive. So it's about strong women. Strong, yeah, because we are strong. Yeah, strong, especially if Carly's doing it. It's all about <laughs> strong women, Crikey, isn't it? Crikey, not joking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 983779, that's the top hat. That's your deal of the day. Um, but remember, we have happy hours, which are only for this hour. Now, you've already got ahead and seen this one. Uh, the Handmade with Love A5 Stamp and Die Collection. 23.85 for this, but what a collection. So again, I know it's really difficult to see on screen there, guys, and you just saw me show you the heliotrope set. This is double what you get in the heliotrope set. You get the keys, the stamps, the dies. The dies for the keys cut a key shape so you don't have to use a stamp. And then you get those beautiful borders with the hearts, with the flourishes coming off, and the coordinating dies around. I think you're saving 30, okay. 30 pounds on that. It's all in people's baskets. All right, okay. Yeah, that quickly. Unbelievable. Okay, okay I've got a couple more to show you. Okay, get ready. Here's the next one, which is the Pretty Penny Botanical Frame Decorative Flourishes Flourish Embellishments. 23 dies in total in this one, Tony. These are big. 
I know, again, I'm sorry we don't have the product to hand. Quid. But these are big. So the flourishes are dies, they're big. That circle with the florals in, if you snip away the center, the florals in the center, you have a beautiful circular wreath. And then you have the building elements with the flowers and the leaves. Again, if I was at home watching that thinking, oh, I can't see it size, I'll, I'm telling you, they are big. They fill mm. a card, they're card fillers. They're not tiny, they're not one inch dies. No. They're about, that circle's about a five inch die. Mm. Okay, that is crazy. Now, before you check out on that one, there's something that matches with the uh, this particular range, and it's the Pretty Penny Floral Wreath Die. There it is. Again, another big one, another big one. So again, you can put your layers on top of here. If you get the flowers from the other one, you can build the flowers on top of this one. These these prices are just amazing. If you've never, if you don't have a circular die that's got a bit of detail, grab these deals. Mm. That's all I'm saying. That's absolutely flying as well. Six pounds sixty-one. The biggest seller at the moment is the the shaker cards yeah and that doesn't surprise me in the slightest now then um, we can't do a Tony Derrick show is showing you something that has become I think the most comprehensive stamping platform on the market not just because it's a stamping platform but because it's so much more but thanks to the magic of TV we got Tony to have a little chat with you about this without any presenters interrupting Hi everyone, I just wanted to showcase the fabulous Eureka 101 and some of its incredible features and benefits. So the area is 12 by 12 and it's going to enable you to see your craft through from start to finish. It has this fabulous stamping area where you can stamp with clear stamps and rubber stamps. It has the size guide for your cards and it also has the crosshairs here so you can stamp beautifully in the centre. So let me just quickly showcase. All we need to do is pop some card into the Eureka, any card. If you're using a clear stamp, just pop the clear stamp face down onto your cardstock pick up the stamp and stamp as you wish. If you're using a red rubber stamp, all you need to do is remove the incredible high density mat from the tool and stamp in exactly the same way. Some other fabulous features for the Eureka are, it also comes with a scoreboard, which is gonna enable you to craft on the go. So all you need to do is remove the magnet, pop in your scoreboard, and this is going to allow you to score on the go. It has all of your one inch increments and you have your score tool to be creative from the get go. On the reverse, we have our box making template. So if we want to make envelopes that coordinate with our cards, we can do that too. We have the wells across the front and the side. We have a base for our fabulous paintbrush in there as well. All kept safe, all together. The reverse can be used as a bead station as well because of the foam on the base. And the amazing item comes with its incredible clutch bag so you can take it on the go and look after your tool. This tool is going to see you through all of your craft and enable you to be creative on the go. There you go. That gives you an overview of what the Eureka does. Yes. But it is such a brilliant tool. It's absolutely amazing. We launched it 2017. It started is out it as really a... really that long ago? I know. Can you wow. believe that? Wow. Um, yeah, so it started out as a watercolour platform, enabling me to paint on the go. And then we added the scoreboard so I could score my cards and make... But on the back of that um, scoreboard, you get an envelope template, you get a box template. You can use it. It's brilliant for your stamping, clear and rubber. The beauty about it is as well also, it's stamps onto 2mm and 3mm MDF which yeah. is really really unique. People use it for the beading with mm. the beads. It's just an incredible tool that you're probably going to have on your desk all the time. The top can be used as a mucky surface, it wipes clean and it comes in that clutch bag so it's transportable too. It is an amazing tool and it would make a brilliant Mother's Day present for somebody as well, I think. Right, now then, um, before they sell out, we need to go back to the shaker cards. Right, I haven't done a this square. This is clever. I haven't done a square, so let's show you the square. So, and then I'll hopefully be able to show you a circle. But if you look here, if you scratch on one side, it has that lovely, which, let me just make sure I'm on the right side. There we go. It ha you'll be able to feel it. You just scratch one corner and there we go. Yeah. So you can see now how crystal clear. Like peeling the cover off a new phone. Yeah, absolutely, it's crystal clear. It doesn't matter if you forget though, because it's still clear, but if you remember to pull it off, it is better. Now they are pre-scored, so this is a five by five square. So I'm just gonna give all of those lines a good old sort of burnish. And the beauty of this high end again, does not get that halo or that cloud. Now I like to bend them forward and then bend them back just to give me a little bit of durability. 
So the tape on here, I will say to you, I won't apologise either, is super strong. Once it's stuck, you're not going to get it off, okay? It's stuck because I think if you want to put glitter in there, it's not going to come out. But if you do an accident, um, you're going to struggle to probably get it off. It's that strong. And I wanted it to be super, super strong, guys, because anything you put in there needs to stay in there. So basically, all you do is, fit, so you, it's up to you what you do. You can take this protective, let me show you how. There you go, look. Oh, very it's so pristine no isn't it? scratches oh, wow, look crystal at that. clear it's really important to me that you know when you give these things they're going to work so all you're going to do here is you're just going to take the cardstock so this is just a piece that i've cut and you can just pop it inside i guess you could peel the, the front off at the very end couldn't you, could, you? absolutely so if you absolutely. you know you've put this face down on your mat if there was a bit of grit on there you, you might scratch, scratch it. it yeah absolutely you can take it off whenever whenever suits you and then all you have to do then is just push these out so i can get the tape off and then just pick it up and hold it in place and then just fold it over and then once it's down guys it's down look look at that yeah so i'm going to move around i'm just going to do all four corners super super easy and then all i'm going to do is i'm just going to leave so normally what you, you and you'll know this martin when you do shaker cards we have to put our bits in we have to yeah. be super careful our yeah. bit's going to come out before i can get that foam on yeah well we're the off. only other brand that i've seen uh, do uh, shaker um well they're domes and they're sizzix yeah, Sizzix do the shaker domes with the tape already on them. Yeah, but they give you depth, don't they? Yes. They're like inch yeah. deep or something. Yeah, it's a that's totally right. flat. This, I think that's why they're called infinity. And numbers. they're not quite as clear as yours are as well. Oh, right, okay. But they're, they're a good idea, right, so you don't have to put the, the foam tape all the way around. This is a totally different concept. And the flat, so less postage. Yeah, yeah. So oh, here yeah, we go. Yeah. So three sides done there. So I have created myself a pocket there. Super, super easy. So then all I'm going to do is I'm going to take some embellishments. Now, you will all have glitter. So if you have our glitter stacks, these are, might be on the website. You can put glitter in. You could pop a chocolate bar in, gift card, money, treats, a brooch, anything you wanted to. You could absolutely go to town and be creative with these tickets for a concert. Yeah. Uh, anything you wanted to. So now I've got my window open, I'm just going to tip some of these in. Lottery ticket. Lottery ticket. So now look at that. How cool is that? So I'll just put those in for now. And then once they're in, I'm satisfied. Press it down. Now you get 24 of them. We've put that on the screen. £20.69 20, uh, for club members. So about 90p each, something like that. 85p each. I think that's fantastic because they are different. They are unique. I've never seen anything like that before. So you could give this as a card now, cover the back with some pattern paper so you don't see your hinge. And then all you need to do then is the pattern papers from your stash, whatever you've used inside, you could embellish and have that as a card. Mm. An absolute card. So that is the card once it's got a backing on. Mm. That is an absolute card. How different is that? You know, How easy. I, I, I mean, if you could batch, I'd make all of them personally. So that's the square one. Shall I quickly show you how I do the circle one? Yeah, let's go for it before they all sell out. We okay. can't show you anyway. So I'm showing you um, bit. So this is a four inch circle. Now, not everybody's got dies to cut a four inch circle. Not everybody's got a brother scan and cut. Not everybody's got all of the um, tools to create a most precise circle. So. I've got around that. I didn't have an exact four inch circle. So all I did was I took the shaker. Now you're probably thinking, well, why hasn't this shaker got tape on like the rest? Now, I didn't decide to put shaker on, sorry. Thank you. Yeah. I didn't put, want to put um, tape on every tooth of this circle. No. Because I felt like, ugh, I hate faff. And the reason why I've created these is to make your life easier, not to make it difficult. So I left them all plain. And all you need to do is pop tape on the back of here. Okay, so let me show you how these work because these are super cool as well. But let's think, let's imagine you haven't got a four inch die, circular die or a punch or a cutting machine. So all I did was I just folded all of the tooths in. Super, super easy. Now, if you have a four inch cutting die, then you can obviously mm. cut. And I placed it over where I wanted the design. I took a pencil and I just roughly went round with my pencil. Now, very, very quickly, they are limited stock, but that doesn't mean there's only a few left. There is a lot of you with them in baskets. 
right? Looking for other things to buy in the show. So even though if you try to order one now, it'll tell you it's limited stock, there is almost as many people with them in baskets as we've got left. Right. And you know what that means? It can turn into a proper bun fight at the end where people are going back to their baskets and it's gone from their basket because somebody called and, you know, on the, you know. So what I'm trying to say is check out as quickly as you can. Yeah. If you want them, check out as quickly as you can. So then all I did was, the one that I drew round, I just cut out with my scissors. It doesn't look great, but do you know what? It's good enough. If I haven't got a die cutting machine or a die, I'm happy with that. So then all you're going to do is you're just going to take off the protective film again, off this circle one. Again, so you get a lovely crystal clear front on there. And then I'm just going to place it face down. And then before I put it in there, because I want my happy birthday in the window, I'm just going to take my tape pen. So you can use tape pen, red liner, whatever you need to do. And I'm just going to pop some tape all the way around. And I felt like this would be absolutely way easier than taking tape off every single tooth on that circle. If you want to put tape on every single tooth, you absolutely can do that. The results are going to be worth it anyway, because to get a circular shaker is awesome. Mm. OK, so with this one, let's just pop some bits in here. Let's get, I'm not put as many in because it's a circle. These circle ones are fab for money and gift cards, okay? Absolutely fab. Just pop, pop a few in there. Ooh, got a hole in my bag. You spilt more than you've put in there. I know. But at least they didn't come out the shaker. You actually <laughs> spilt those. Yeah. <laughs> Could you imagine? And then take your, let's, let's just move this out of the way. Pop your circle in and then all you're going to do then is you need to just get one going. Once you've got one going, can we see there? And let me just pick it up a little bit here. And then once you get going, so you just go around and pick each tooth up. Get off. <laughs> In my way. And then once you, you can pick it up if you want. And then once you've got going, you just fold every tooth over. Make sure you've got plenty of tape on there. Go all the way around. And you're going to get off you. All of the tooths. I love these circle ones. Absolutely love them. Well, it's just so, so different, isn't it? I mean, while Tony's just turning that, just have a quick look I know, at, at that so as an cool. example. So I just keep going. Okay. Thank you. Look at that. Uh, where are you there? There you go. Isn't that beautiful in the circle? And it's slightly raised up as well. It does. It gives you that lovely shop bought dome feel effect in there as love well. It. I'm just giving these, I haven't used the best tape gun in the world. You haven't, have you? No, because they're not yeah, they're sticking, sticking back up well. as quick yeah. as you're sticking them down. Use your red liner. I did have red liner, but it's gone since we moved studio. But there we go, look. Look at that. Isn't there's that just cool? So you could do what we did in that card, Martin, where we popped the five pounds in. A ticket oh, yes. if you wanted to. Anything you want to. You can put a shaker within a shaker as well. They are super, super cool. So that's the circle. Super easy. Amazing. I don't know. Mind you, they're going to be for an extra special person, I think. I just think they're very saleable. You put those on a card, people are going to look at something. Oh, that's awesome. How I'll have one of those. How have you done that? Let me just quickly show you, and then we'll get on to the embossing folders. So you're getting 24 in total. You're getting the circle, you're getting the square, and you're getting two rectangles as well. Um, remember, they have a, a cover, a, a sort of a protective sheet on them as well to peel off. And that really does make them super clear when you peel that off. Now, as I said, you get 24 in total for 2069, but they are absolutely flying out the door. So if you've got them in your basket, it's actually probably worth going, you know what, I'll look what else I need later. Uh, uh, I'm going to forget about the cap postage. I'm, I'm, I'm going to forget, this, forget the, um, the cat postage for a moment. I really want those. I'm going to grab them and then I'll come back and sort the rest of my orders out. Because if you go around looking for other stuff now to add to your basket to take advantage of that cat postage, you may well lose out. Seven items in this show have sold out, which I'm about to tell you about. Both the happy hours have gone. The deal of the day is now completely sold out. The deal of the day, that is, that was meant to last until uh, 10 or midnight tonight, that has gone. Um, what else has gone? The sale items we mentioned, the pretty penny and those, they've all gone. You've snaffled those up as well. We've still got Eurekas, plenty of Eurekas, and we've still got some embossing folders as well. But at this rate, we'll be doing a 20-minute Eureka demo. <laughs> <laughs> I have got... Let's do, shall we do some techniquey things with embossing folders? Yeah, let's do that, shall we? 
Yeah, right. let's do it, let's do it. So in there, you're not buying one of those embossing folders, you're getting all three, and they all are heart-based, so they're gonna see through the whole year, totally timeless. Right, I'm gonna go with the beads first. This is stunning. The beads on here are incredible. I'm gonna show you on white, and then I'll show you one that I did through on holographic yesterday. So you just place your cardstock in. If you've never seen an embossing folder before, the HD3D is an indication that you bring your artwork to the front, but it doesn't matter which way you do it, really. You get effects on both sides so let's just run this one through super easy they go through all all die cutting machines just check the plate situation for each die cutting machine because they're a little bit different for different manufacturer settings so let's just run this one through oh do you want to show word. i'll let you show and then i'll move on to the next one look look at this i mean that is just superb isn't it even those little chains between them is embossed yeah, as well. It's, it's, I love feeling it. Yeah. And um, you saw me yesterday, I just used half of the embossing folder, then I put a, a gnome on the front. It's just gorgeous. It's a deep. What's a deboss like? Have a look at the deboss. Just as nice. Can I do my joke? Yeah. I saw deboss in the corridor earlier. <laughs> <laughs> on a Saturday? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, actually, no. Okay, you know I'm no, lying. No, you're lying. You know I'm lying. It was a Saturday, you know. <laughs> yeah, so next one is your Urban Heart. Now, I always have to have one that's a little bit more artistic. I love anything that's, you know, going to make me look better than I am and you can be really, really creative with. That's so really good, that. That's impressive. It's nice, isn't it? Let me just... Um, there you go. Just make sure it's done it. Here we go. Have a look at this one. Look at that. It's like a bleeding heart. Yeah, these are perfect for Valentine's cards, aren't they? But equally, yeah. Christmas, you know, stick a Christmas gnome in front of one of them. You don't have to... Oh, they're just amazing. But actually, if you look at that, for a minute, I thought, oh, those hands oh, doing yeah. the heart thing, you Which know? Which I always do. That's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I never. Well, Why didn't you I know. see that? It's just, yeah, I like, again, that's a really nice one. Let's... Okay, we'll have a look at the next one. These are so popular. I mean, hearts are not just found. Hearts are for everything. You send a card from the heart. Yeah. It's all about hearts, isn't it? You know? And I feel like the expensive cards are the ones that just have a bit of embossed detail on them anyway. Yeah, I agree. Got some emails to read out as well. Let's have a look at this next one. Now, this is my personal favourite. I don't know why. I just really like I that one. It. It's my favourite. Oh, do you know what, though? I say this. I have hundreds and hundreds of designs in embossing folders and I use them all. They're a great way of creating um, depth and dimension on cards, inexpensive and indestructible. You know what this makes me think of? This makes me think somebody's made a heart in the snow and some miserable so-and-so has ridden their bike across it and a couple of people have walked through it. Just whilst, <laughs> that's true, but whilst you're saying that, I'm thinking some gold sparkle, little tiny snowflakes and a Merry Christmas and I've got an incredible Christmas card. There you You'll go, like yeah. the simplistic yeah, cards, there don't you? Yeah, there so, you are. So, sorry, I'll just show you these ones in black before. Look at that. Black, so with a bit of white on your embossing. Um, a bit oh. of white on some metallic. Wow. That one. Oh, wow. yeah. Just shows you how different the look on if you don't want to use white. Oh, that one's good. Cool, that one. Like that one. Okay, that's really busy. Let's do a couple of emails before we do anything else because yep. we've got like plenty of time. <laughs> it's all about the Eureka in a minute. We'll talk slow. Uh, this one's from Val in Renfrewshire. Wow. And Val good. says, Morning, Tony okay. and Martin. Looks like a brilliant show as always, and I'm watching and typing at the same time. Uh, which us women are good at because they're super multitaskers. Yes, super they powers. Are. They are. I'd like to ask about the gnomes on the makes that have been shown. Are they stamps by me or others and where can I get them from? Sorry, say again. The gnomes. They are, sorry, they sold out. They sold out. That they was were part of the big bundle with the paper. The, uh, I'm so sorry. Will they ever come back? Sorry, Val. I'm so sorry. It's part of our new paper chain range, which uh, Helen Kirkham's going to be bringing to you here on Create and Craft. So once a month, she'll have a new collection for you all. And trust me when I tell you the next collection is just as beautiful as this one. So. OK, there you go, Val. Sorry, but make sure you catch the next one. Uh, and here's one from Jill, who's in Chlanthrisant. Chlanthrisant in South Wales. Yeah. 
Hope we've pronounced that right. I'm not quite on a Saturday morning. Um, uh, dear Tony and Martin, I've had a Eureka for several years. As I have dexterity issues in my hands, I do all my stamping with it. It is well loved and well inked, and I couldn't enjoy crafting without it. Is it like mine? <laughs> Oh my. It's embarrassing. My. I know. They, this has been. Look at the state of that. Look at the state is, of that. This is 2017. Look at that. Yeah, I, mean, I know it could do with a clean, but. You're, you're come the on. boss. Treat yourself to a new one. No! <laughs> it's good enough. It's good enough. It's even got tape on. I can't get off. Oh my uh, word. It's a, it is truly a workhorse. Right. I'm going to give you some updates and then we're going to have another look at the Eureka for Thank you. Thank you for that email. Uh, let's start with those shaker cards. Have they gone? Oh, thank oh. goodness. No. Thank goodness. Okay, there is there is still enough to go around if you're quick. They are limited stock. People have taken advi my advice and they are checking out. Um, so if you've got one in your basket, make sure you get yours as quickly as you can. Uh, 592471, your item number for the Infinity Shaker card collection. So the 3D embossing folders, they are limited stock as well. Doesn't surprise me, they're very good. You call them HD 3D. And they are, they're very high definition. They're Brilliant. Uh, now, here's something we haven't seen yet. Okay, we haven't got it in the studio, but we can talk about it. Here it comes. It's called Avago. Yep. The uh, ink embossing powders. Love Hearts, Retro Spots and Star Cluster. Yes. So more in embossing folders. Yeah, more embossing folders. Same size as the ones we've got in show today, but these are from our Avago range, which is the lovely Simon. So you have some amazing designs in here. You have layered stars and the dimension is like no other. We have like doodle hearts and then you have one which looks like bubble wrap and it is so cool. So if you can just take um, your imagination from what Stamps By Me deliver you in embossing folders and apply it to what we have here with the Avago range, you are going to be wowed by these. These are just what's left from Simon's second birthday here on Create and Craft. Okay. Um, but again, if you do like your embossing folders, these are no different. They're exceptional. Right. 966 that one. Uh, one more to show you. We've got uh, the more embossing folders for you. Uh, these are busy uh, they are the oh thirsty brush we love a bit of thirsty brush the creative embossing folders birthday celebrations you get three seven by fives now now we might have a look at those in a minute if we can but we are going to be looking at the brilliant eureka this has been around since 2017 it's set all sorts of of trends and it's still doing it here's tony to tell you more Hi everyone, I just wanted to showcase the fabulous Eureka 101 and some of its incredible features and benefits. So the area is 12 by 12 and it's going to enable you to see your craft through from start to finish. It has this fabulous stamping area where you can stamp with clear stamps and rubber stamps. It has the size guide for your cards and it also has the crosshairs here so you can stamp beautifully in the centre. So let me just quickly showcase. All we need to do is pop some card into the Eureka, any card. If you're using a clear stamp, just pop the clear stamp face down onto your cardstock pick up the stamp and stamp as you wish. If you're using a red rubber stamp, all you need to do is remove the incredible high density mat from the tool and stamp in exactly the same way. Some other fabulous features for the Eureka are, it also comes with a scoreboard, which is gonna enable you to craft on the go. So all you need to do is remove the magnet, pop in your scoreboard, and this is going to allow you to score on the go. It has all of your one inch increments and you have your score tool to be creative from the get go. On the reverse, we have our box making template. So if we want to make envelopes that coordinate with our cards, we can do that too. We have the wells across the front and the side. We have a base for our fabulous paintbrush in there as well. All kept safe, all together. The reverse can be used as a bead station as well because of the foam on the base. And the amazing item comes with its incredible clutch bag so you can take it on the go and look after your tool. This tool is going to see you through all of your craft and enable you to be creative on the go. Now we're going to look at the Eureka in a bit more detail. In, oh, there you are. Uh, we're going to look at the Eureka in, in a bit more detail in just a second, but I need to tell you about the uh, card window frames. They are technically now sold out. What that means is if you tried to put one in your basket now, it wouldn't let you. It would tell you it's sold out. But there are people with them in their baskets still to check out. You know the story. If you call the number on the bottom of the screen, the operators can't see the ones in baskets. 
they're still in stock as far as they're concerned right. because they're not sold yet. It's not like the high street where you put something in your basket and three months later they're still asking you if you want to buy that thing you were fantasy shopping for, you know, that thousand pound ring or whatever it might be. Um, so you need to check out as quickly as possible. You made the decision that you want them. Why would you miss out by not checking out? Exactly. So please do do that as quickly as you can. 592-471. But technically, they are sold out. Basically, what we've got left on the show are the Eureka and... Thirsty Brush. Thirsty Brush embossing folders. I think that's right, about it. Okay, let's go. Let's show you these thirsty brush ones. And these are five by seven. I love a five by seven card, as you all know. It's my style. So let me just show you the greenery one, which is uh, absolutely stunning. So I'm going to do it on black just to change it up a little bit because I feel like I do everything on white. So let's change this one up and let's do it on black. Now again, these are five by seven, but equally you can repeat the pattern if you want to. You can do half and half on a card, and I will show you that in a second. I'll do half an embossing fold, a half a card with my embossing folder and maybe half a card with Emma's lovely embossing folders I'll show you in a second look at that isn't it good wow honestly now then. wow I I'm mean, hearing oohs and ahs in my ear as well and you know yeah. when you look at an embossing folder it looks so boring that is so <laughs> impressive isn't it look at but that but then when you run it through I, I you know what I often think when people run these through their machines at home and they take them out they do the ooh at home yes they literally you're do you're probably right you don't even realise you're doing it but you will do the ooh when you do it yeah. so ooh. let me show you the next one which ooh. is graffiti this is Why cool. are you putting that through? Sarah from Funky Fossils emailed oh, in. All right, Sarah, how are you? Uh, she says, uh, hi both. I can't keep up with all the sellouts. I'm <laughs> loving the embossing folders. No one creates such fabulous depth and dimension with their designs oh, than stamps kind. by me. I'm a recent convert to emboss embossing folders yeah. and the designs on today's show are stunning. Thank you, Sarah. Lovely to hear from you. I saw you the other day and I think you were in a couple of days ago as yeah, well. I'm talking around. She's like... Should I do embossing for? I'm like, do it. Yeah. Just do it. Because her brand lends herself so well to that mm. mix me soft mixed mm. media, so it will fit perfectly. Just mm. do it. I agree. So let's just show you this. Wow. Is this a particular? Is That's it worth? Graffiti. Graffiti. Okay. How about that for a bit of graffiti? Oof. Look at that. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <Woo> <laughs> Look at that. That is That's nice. Fantastic. There you go. Think about all your. I mean that. That's just great because it would work on any type of card. It, it's it's a background. Doesn't matter whether you use it as graffiti or it's just a texturized background, Absolutely. isn't it? There's no real words there. You can't read anything like no. not like used to be over the motorway. Give peas a chance. That's gone now. Okay. Did you see that one? No. That's down on the M um, twenty five, I think, down that way, down towards Heathrow, and it was give peas a chance. It's been up there for years, and I think they've erased it, and somebody's put something else up now. Unless I've got the wrong bridge, but uh, that was always one of my favourites. Give Give peas a chance. Right, let me show you something cool. <laughs> <laughs> so I have the last one of those Thirsty Brush Bundle and, it, and it's butterflies, but I want to show you how you can mix embossing folders, okay? So let's pop the this piece of card onto um, this embossing folder. Let's just go just less shy of half um, on here. We'll, uh, we'll go through my machine. Oh, that's not a good sketch. Tony, I need a bigger machine. But anyway, let me just show you where I'm going with this. So, we'll top this part in here, look. Are you going to do half and half? Yeah. Okay. And it shows you how you can do decorative elements on. So, we'll do the beads on the top. Now, um, I, I did a show with uh, Mr. John Lockwood last week. Oh, yeah. And he did a technique that I've never seen before. Okay. Right. Where he was using an embossing folder on a white piece of card, but he put a metal strip in it as well, or a, um, actually, a, a, yeah, like cardboard, mount board, mount board, grey board. So okay. actually, you had a white card that only had a stripe of embossing oh, down so it. it just did half and half. It was not even half and half. So if you had that white piece of card there, you had blank yeah. embossing blank. In it like was, panels. It was really clever, yeah, clever. like that. That is clever. A bit like you've done, but in landscape instead of portrait. Yeah, absolutely. So now, let's just get one of the other ones. So let's do the dripping hearts here, look. So I just grab the dripping hearts, and we'll pop the dripping hearts 
up to our line don't worry about the line if you make a mess or a hash of it because I'm going to connect it so let's just pop this one through this is to show you if you have a striped embossing folder and a star and you want to connect you can do half and half quarter quarter whatever you want to do so let's just run this one through or if you just want to leave the top half of your card blank and have decorative just on the base then you can do that so I'm not going to take it all the way through I'm just going to go it's because I don't want to flatten the rest of my emboss no so just half and half now you can do this with all embossing folders you sometimes you might need a bigger machine so check that out oh wow half and half how cool is that? So the well. beauty of no that line, is now, no. no line or so the beauty like that. of that is now. I mean, this isn't big enough. This border, but just let me just show you. So then you hide the border. Pretend this border's longer. You hide the border in between, so it looks like it was one. Let's actually push that over. Oh yeah, yeah. And then if you have some die cut elements, you can actually really start to be creative. If you have a shaker window, you could pop a shaker window in. I like it. You could actually do it like a diamond style mm, shape if you mm. wanted to. You could still do the banner. So mm. the decorative elements are in the base. And like just it. mount it onto a card. Lovely that. sentiment. Inspiration in a moment. Just you didn't know you were gonna do that. You just no. picked them up and put them together, didn't you? Yep. Shall I, I like just that. very quickly just run this kaleidoscope mm. with butterflies mm. through? Everybody loves a butterfly. Yep, shall we um shall we maybe add some colour to this one just to chop it up a little bit so it's not just one colour? Go on, why don't we? It's Saturday. Um, Okay, let's get some colour from, let's go, uh, let's go a nice limey greeny colour for a change, seeing as it's spring. So I'm just going to take the ink pad, now I sometimes, when I'm putting ink on, I put it on both sides and then I decide what I like the best when I've run it through. Fair There's enough. no harm, because you're not going to see one of the sides here, so on one side you can just sort of like brush, or you can take your amazing funky fossil brush yes and these are brilliant for inking up your embossing folders and you can just add them on because they're super soft get the color on blend it on I'm doing it very lightly because I'm not a fan of really dark grungy colors okay. but you could absolutely go to town like Paul does on my design team play around with some color and these these brushes just give you that um, lovely hue on your thing I think these are on the web Sarah's um, blending brushes are amazing for soft detail and then I'm going to do this side as well and then we'll just pick which we like the best now you can spray the embossing folders and this is what's brilliant about embossing folders they are pretty much indestructible indestructible as well and also another cool thing is it's it's not um, it, I haven't done this this is how they're built but they have a slot in the middle can you see here they have mm -hmm. a hole mm -hmm. so if you're doing a slimline piece panel and you want to extend the design you just push it through that hole um, got it that's how they built the embossing folders that's with clever. that gap in there but it's just a lovely feature if you do yeah, want to do a clever. slim so let's just pop this piece in here so this is going to be really subtle guys because I've done it subtle but you could absolutely go to town and make it as dark or as grungy as you want in fact what we'll do is we'll run it through on the green and then we can add some colour on top okay. and that's the beauty of embossing folders that's it I mm. just they are an inexpensive way to be really creative Okay, another email. This one's from Tanya, who says, Hi, what a fabulous show. Thank you, Tanya. Uh, please, can you share what the, that die-cutting machine is, please? I'm in love with the colour. Oh, bless you. That's one of our uh, A6 die-cut machines. It's going to be in our hero show. It's a true workhorse, I can't tell you. A hand crank machine. It's going to be back, though. I'll bring it back. It when is the happen. hero show? I'm um, still planning it. Probably about a month or so. Okay, cool. I better check your availability. Yeah, please do. Yeah, I'll be very upset if that's not me. Yeah, very so upset. This is the um, butterflies here, so you can see on the, you can only just see that green, but look at the detail in there. Let's show you the de deboss as well. I now I don't know whether you'll see the green at home on that because it, it is very, very subtle. It is there, yeah, and it's, it's, very uh, it's Let's it's add very some faint. colour to it though. Let's enhance it a bit more. So, just get my um, thing out because I don't like the squeak. I'm sorry. Another great hero yeah, tool. So here, here we go. Let's add some colour and make it really pop oh, so you can that. see it on TV. Now you could have used black on your embossing folder. You could have used the rainbow colours really, couldn't you? You could absolutely do what colour you absolutely love. And these uh, brushes of Sarah's come in a variation of sizes as well. So if you have a grander um, embossing folder, because I know there are some eight by eight, I haven't ever done yeah. an eight by eight, but I know there are some eight by eights. I think Phil Martin may might do a, mm. a good old eight by eight. So you're gonna get coverage with these, really, really cool. 
So add a bit of green. You could go over with your um, gilding waxes. Yep. You've seen you've seen all the techniques, I'm sure. So we'll do a bit of green, and then shall we add just a just chop it up and add a bit more colour? Just, um, yeah, I've probably seen most of the techniques with embossing folders. I don't think. I well, do you think about it? Embossing folders have been around for years. It's just in recent years they've got better and better. And since yeah. we've done HD three D they have transformed the industry with um, embossing folders. I mean, uh, some people, I don't know if you still do, some people wet the paper before they put in the embossing folder. Yeah, and, you get, you, it. and you get a different look then, don't you, as mm. well? I mean, let's just, just random here. Yeah, lots of things you can do. I remember, um, because what you have to remember is, these machines, the one that Tan, like Tanya was asking, they're die cutting and embossing machines. Yeah. And we used to get very, when dyes were at their very height, um, I don't know, maybe eight years ago, uh, when they were just, dyes was everything. Um, we used to get carried away and just talk about die cutting machines. Yeah. And I remember a lady emailed in and said, Martin, remember these are embossing machines as well. Yeah. I have a, one of these machines and I don't own a single die. Wow. She bought just for, for embossing. Yeah. You know. And of course, you've got to remember that these are a double-edged sword. Yes, they'll cut your dies, but they'll also do your embossing folders really well as well. So I'm just I'm just playing around here, but you can see how, as a background, you can have it as a background. I'm just trying to. And many people emboss with their dies by reducing the thickness of the plates, yeah. so they don't cut; they just emboss. There are lots of things you can do, but um, I have to say that Tony and her stable bring some fantastic embossing folders. Oh. I like that card. Look at that. Got, I can almost feel the creativity. Like a, it's almost touchable, like electricity in the air. I know She's gone quiet. Yeah, I'm just literally bringing in the bits and pieces that are floating around on my desk here because we absolutely are running out of time. So you, obviously you could be creative, but really, really just have fun with your embellishments, be creative, add the decoupage elements, have a nice corner. Nice sentiment. Look at that. Yeah, not bad. Not a bad effort, isn't that, Nigel? And then, but you. Who? Nigel. Is that? Do you know what? That is the second time I've called you, Nigel. You're on your own, mate. Oh, he knows I love him. Can't yeah, you? Yeah, he you, definitely will. You can have Nigel otherwise. on your hero show now. <laughs> no, your name's in. You can't get out of it now. I can't believe it. Nigel. Do you know why that happened yeah, and why I'm not yeah. that angry is because you were absolutely focused, <laughs> weren't you? Listen, it goes in one ear and out the other. Honestly, it does when I get creative. I'm absolutely playing around with it. No rules in craft. I remember working with a guy on Idle World years ago. I've told this story. I can't remember his name now, but let's just say it was Dave. Right. And oh, I introduced him as John. You told me this before. Yeah. Uh, and he went, no, it's Dave, Martin. I was like, I'm so sorry, John. No, it's Dave, Martin. I, I'm sorry, let's start again. Hi, everybody, welcome. You're watching me, and I've got uh, John with me. He went, it's Dave. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm so sorry. He's like that um, program. In the end, he just, I thought he, he was going to punch up. me. Yeah. He just gave up. Yeah, I thought he was going to punch me. He just said, oh, for going to say, just call me Dave, whatever. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Never mind. Listen, well, worse things can happen than calling was, somebody. Honestly. Worse things can happen than calling somebody wrong name. I can't name. remember them now, the way round they were now. Uh, I've still yeah. got time. Is that all right? Can I just... You've got somewhere? time. We are going to talk about the Eureka before we go, though. Okay. Let me just show you some other cool things. So yesterday, I inked up this embossing fault. Have these ones gone? Yes. Uh, the hearts. Have they? Okay. There's a, there's a handful oh, left, I'll so use, you can use them. I'll use, I'll no, use, no, you can use them. There's a handful left. Go ahead. I don't want to get in trouble. Right, so here we are. Yesterday, I inked up this embossing folder in white, didn't I? Let's show you how um, we can change it up by not adding ink to the embossing folder and adding, adding it ourselves. Now, I'm going to be back in about an hour and ten minutes with Simon from Pearly Simon from Pearly, Pearly Winks. Winks. Yep, he'll have, some, he'll have some inks, I'm sure, because mm. that's his sort of like... Okay. Um, his area of craft, he makes all his own inks and things like that. Okay, so. stay tuned for that one in an hour's would... time. So here we are in black. Hopefully you can no, see No, two it. hours' time. I apologise, apologise. One o'clock, two hours' time. Deboss or emboss looks awesome. But let's just change it up here. Let's get a white ink pad. 
Now I'm going to use one of my spot brushes for white because I can get in all of that detail. So I'll just make sure it is. There we go. So all I'm going to do is lightly, just very light hand and just brush over that heart. Oh, look at that. Pick up that texture. And this is a pigment ink as well, so what we could do now is we could throw our embossing powders on. We could do the salt and pepper technique where you randomly just drop it into areas and then heat set it so you'll get like a really hammered look with your um, heart on there. Uh, right, email from Carol uh, Williamson, Carol with an E. She said, hi, um, hi everyone, I just couldn't resist spending, so I've overspent. Oops, oh, sorry, yeah. sorry, Carol. Uh, oh, well, Tony never fails with these wonderful compilations. I shall be having so much fun, and my peeps shall be receiving some fabulous gifts and cards, Aww. all hand-created by me with Tony as my boss. <laughs> She's in London. Kind regards. Thank you, Carol. Carol, nice thank to, you, sweetheart. Uh, hear from you. Okay, the 3D ones have sold out, but doesn't. Don't mind. Don't mind. Don't matter. We were just having a look at a technique there. I love so it. So, D boss. Mm. M boss. Right, should we go and talk Eureka? Yeah, let's do it. I've got no else to show you. Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll go and. Well, we'll, well I, I tell you what, we'll go over here because I'll that show one's it. clean. <laughs> Cheeky. <laughs> All right. This is the Eureka. Tell me how you thought about this. So, what were the thoughts behind painting, producing painting. this? Painting. You get your brush. You get your wells to paint. You okay. also get. As the time went on and I was creating it, I thought, do you know what? I'm going to make it an all-in-one station. So you have your card sizes mm -hmm. on the front, so you can. And this crosshair in the centre shows you where to stamp. Okay, so the centre of each. It can be used as a messy station. It's a wipe clean surface. It can be used to house your beads if you want to pop beads in there, pop an elastic mm, band around mm. the edge if you want to. It has that mat in there, so if you want to stamp in clear stamps, you're good to go from the get-go. If you want to stamp rubber, take the mat out. Mm -hmm. The magnet is durable and it's super strong, so be careful with it. If you want to stamp onto MDF 2, 3 and possibly up to 4 mil MDF, take the mat out and you can stamp onto home decor. You've got this lovely 9x9 nine nine area, so if you've got those large MDF hearts or tags and you want to embellish those, you can stamp it onto those. It comes with a brush, but the beauty of this is it just doesn't stop at that sort of station area. It then has your amazing scoreboard, which come in one mil increments. Now, we all know that if you have a scoreboard on top of a surface and you're trying to score, it slides, and then you end up with a wiggle in your cardstock. This fits seamlessly within the recess of this tool. You can do all of your scoring and know it's going to be straight in line. Brucey bonus when you turn it over is you get the lovely card making and envelope box template on there as well. There is a download for all of the sizes you need to make coordinating envelopes and boxes. There are more boards coming for this to make different things as well. You also get your score tool in there as well so you're not left on your own. And you also get your amazing clutch bag, which is brilliant because if you are a crafter on the go, it houses it all, it protects it all. It's a considered purchase, so make sure you pop it all in, keep it all together. Tell you what, forty pound forty nine club price is a brilliant considered. It's a brilliant purchase. I tell Absolutely, you. that's a great price. And then let's just say there is. Sorry, Tony. Let's just say what? there is um, uh, mom, dad, and three kids in the family. Right? Dad buys this for Mother's Day. Right, he puts ten pound in. The others wash up, clean the car, do the yeah, vacuuming. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's Mother's Day present done. That's yeah. how we would do it. And do you know, like, uh, it is a true workhorse. It won't go in the bottom drawer. You will use it for so many things. It's brilliant for your stenciling. The magnet is strong enough to hold your stencils in place as well. So if you do like to stencil, it's totally got you covered. And like I say, there are going to be more elements built into this. So once you have the tool, this is normally £60. So the deal today is absolutely incredible at £40. Great Mother's Day, Christmas, whatever birthday. It's a workhorse and you will have it on your desk knowing that you've bought it for a crafter who will use it. Mm won't end up in a bottom drawer no. it will be out on a surface all of the time yeah it will be used a lot uh kim's email from houghton the spring right she always posh. puts she always puts it in 
because I'd say Houghton or Houghton or something like you that. You make it posh. Houghton, she, yeah, she puts Houghton, Houghton, so we know, yeah. Houghton uh, She says, what a fantastic show. You're both making me laugh. I'm die-cutting in the sitting room while watching Crate and Craft. I agree, embossing folders are brilliant and make a background far more interesting. Absolutely. I love white on white as well, which is super cool, but the capability to flip it on its bottom and use it from totally white, clean and crisp right to, as you see from our Paul on our design team and Karen, who grunge it up and add those textures, it's amazing and they're affordable, indestructible and create the most gorgeous cards. They do. Let's talk they about do. the inks that you were using, the Avagos, uh, sorry, the embossing folders uh, and there they are, they're the uh, Love Hearts Retro Spots and Star Cluster. We'll go back over Tony, we've got three minutes before we're out of time, uh, you can do whatever you like, talk about the Eureka. Um, yeah, we've still got a few of right. the thirsty brush embossing folders and let's we've still got it. Eurekas and we've got two and a half minutes. Okay, so let's be let's use the thirsty brush. When are you back next? I know it won't be two o'clock, put it that way. Um You'll be home by then. Yeah, I'll probably be home by then. Um, Poor I'm old not Adam's sure. going to be here without... doing a happy hour on his own. <laughs> without um looking, I'm not sure. It is soon. When so, are you off to America next? Uh, I'm on HSN on the 28th, so I'll leave on the 25th. Right. Uh, I've got some business out there, so that's good. Oh, it keep, keeps me busy, Martin. Nigel, Martin, what is, do you want to be yeah. called today? Is Sarah Millsop going with you on this one? She's, she's on, she has a live show on the same day, right. but because it's her first show, she's flying out a little bit earlier because oh. she's got to do some screen testing bits yeah, and pieces. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, but yeah, yeah Sarah's yeah, going to be there yeah. as well, so it's just going to be... You need to be... get Sarah on there at some point as well. From, uh, <laughs> the American viewers would love Sarah. Absolutely, and they're doing the Dots Diamonds as well, and I think it's going to go down a storm, mm. you know. So I'm just trimming this piece of metallic here, and I'm going to show you um, the lovely greenery one from the lovely Emma Thirsty Brush. I would show you those Avago ones, but I didn't bring them, unfortunately. But I think if you can see how good these are, you're going to know they're all equally as good. Okay. So let's just pop this in here. So get the raised part on the metallic part. So I'm just going to pop it in the center. And now think about gold for Christmas. If you did gold onto a dark green with a Merry Christmas on there, Christmas cards covered. Add a bit of sparkle with your sparkle pens if you want to. So, so gorgeous. Now, we've only got a minute left, everyone. Uh, thank you so much. A really, really busy show. Um, fabulously busy show. Um, the mo there was meant to be a one-day special. That sold out last night. Um, but we've still managed to have a really fabulous show. Thanks to the depth of products in Tony's range. There you go. Look at that one. On, on um, holographic. Look at that. Uh, not beautiful. There you go. Isn't that cool? And now you could absolutely do your salt and pepper. So if you've got a sticky ink now, I'm not going to do it because my heat gun's not plugged in, but let me just talk you through what you would do very you've got quickly. 30 seconds to do yep. it. Sticky ink pad, light brush, embossing powder, sprinkle, salt mm. and pepper technique, heat set, and you get a rustic finish. Nice. I like a bit of rustic. And then the debosser. Right, Tony, thank you for, again for a brilliant one day special, thank even you so though much, I never guys. got to see I it. Know. Can I knew, it though. On? Because when the email came through at 10 past 10 last night, one day special sold out. I was like, oh, as usual. I, were in, I was thinking in my bed last night, it's going to kill me. It's going to kill me. I have Never. slept all night. No. <laughs> Listen, it's absolutely fabulous to see you. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. Thank you for watching, everyone. I'll see you in a couple of hours. But this is what's coming up next.